gra, 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 boom. Don't run, don't trip, like, don't trip. I should like, I did a sunny, okay. Is not a criminal. I called him, I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his. Yeah, that was crazy. Anybody that don't know, this is a follow up from Logan Paul about that other video he was doing about. He called, uh, Son of Criminal that reported on uh, the shit. But we're going to see what the fuck he got to say. Off rip. Cop in a bottle is crazy. After saying, he was saying some egregious shit. But we're going to see what's going on. Theories was that of, of, of fire, uh, an ego, flair, whatever it is, pride. I'm a fighter at heart, and uh, I was defensive because I know I never scammed anyone with this project. I never made any money, never sold any tokens, and I only had the best intentions going in. Um, but the fact is that suing CoffeeZilla is not going to help crypto zoo holders, so I do need to focus my attention where it should be, which is on fans and supporters of me. You guys mean the world to me, so I'd like to announce my three-step plan moving forward. Step one, Jeff and I are going to burn our zoo tokens, so we have no financial upside in the game and it will add value to holder tokens. Step two, uh, we want to offer a rewards program for players who are disappointed in the status of the game. So essentially you're gonna be able to burn your, your base egg uh, or your base animal for the mint price, which was 0.1 ETH or the equivalent in BNB. I am personally committing a thousand ETH to this, which is about $1.3 million um, right now for players who want to get out. And then step three, Obviously, finish and deliver the game as outlined in the white paper by completing the uh, egg bridge from ETH to BSC for base animals and base eggs, completing the marketplace and, and obviously completing the releasing your animals into the wild to accrue your yield function. To say I am disappointed in how this was handled internally is an understatement. Um, there's a full internal investigation going on along with an audit and we are going to pursue full legal action for... Son is not horsing with y'all. Y'all fuck this man Breach up. He's on y'all body. <laughs> you niggas is the real criminals. Whoever scams, son, y'all niggas is about to get done. Nope. Son said, I am. My fault. Son is on y'all body. Hopefully y'all, uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all figure that shit out. Cause niggas is not fuck. He's not horsing around. Or whomever needs to be held accountable. If any money is recovered in the process, it'll go right to the community. My sole obligation is to my supporters, and um, I know this video is long overdue. Here it is. I'm sorry, guys. I I, I apologize um, there it is. for for how this has unfolded thus far, and I want people to know that they can trust me, and that I'll always take care of the. F I want people to know that they can trust me. It's crazy. It's a crazy statement. Not gonna lie. I don't know why. When somebody say that to me, I automatically feel even more <laughs> untrust. You already feel more un untrustworthy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But you feel me? That's my opinion. We're gonna see what's going Fans on. Fans and people who support me. Uh, I appreciate your guys' patience while we do our internal investigation. And I promise to be transparent and disclose. Stamped? Any information we find out in the process. And lastly, thank you, CoffeeZilla. Um, you have catalyzed wow. this, and I am very grateful for your work and your investigation. And I mean that. Thank you, bro. There it is, man. That's, there it is. That's a good ass apology, that's man. That's a good ass apology, hey, you know man. Nigga the said the I was... dick sucking at the end was like, oh, wow. I wasn't expecting Hey. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> said the dick. I, 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 the end was crazy. That turn. Ew. I think he just did that so that nigga lay off. <laughs> yeah, facts, 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 facts. Yeah, I think people thought I was going easy on Logan Paul, but I'm a gamer, bro. I've been gaming since I was four. I know what it's like to buy a game, because this is technically supposed to be a game, and not the thing that you bought was not what they promised. But that wasn't... I know that feeling a lot. But nowadays, Marcel, the last four or five years, because you haven't been playing video games, it is so commonplace for people to... Um, it's so commonplace for people to release alphas or unfinished products with the promise of it improving. And there's the odd game like Rainbow Six Siege where it came out in shambles, but then Ubisoft saved it, and now it's a fantastic shooter. There's yeah. so many games Yo, where that... Yo, first and foremost, bro. Shout out to fucking Rainbow Six Siege, man. I had a fucking ball on that game. Uh, unfortunately, now that I'm on PC, it's probably a better experience, but I'm not that good with the keyboard and mouse. This is wild off topic. I ain't gonna lie, but it don't matter. Yo, man, shout out to the stream, man. Make sure I go turn up to the stream. I've been off the stream lately. I haven't uploaded. 
but I'm about to get right back on. After I'm making like five videos right now, five reaction videos, five, six videos. I go, I gotta run somewhere. I'm getting on the stream tonight, man. Please tune in, bro. Stop horsing around. This video is gonna come out probably tomorrow, a little bit later, but it don't fucking matter. Lock into the stream, the YouTube, everything, man. Turn this shit up. But yeah, Siege, great fucking game, man. I had a fucking blast on console. I'm gonna try to, you know what I'm saying? Revert my energy towards keyboard and mouse. I'm a controller player at fucking heart, so bear with the kid. Quality is getting better soon. Shit is getting better. Just, just trust the kid. That never becomes trust the, the case. And so the case I made in the original video was just it's not a scam yet. Because if he's lying about the roadmap for this game, then it will be a scam. Because you Look, promised all these things and no, those no, are the things which you did not deliver. First of all, first of all. But I think people thought it was a scam because people lost money. No, no, no. You spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a game is just dumb in general. So like you can't point the finger at somebody else for your dumb decision. Like that's like if I spent 50,000 in microtransactions on NBA 2K My Team or on FIFA Ultimate Team. I can't no, blame I get, FIFA for giving me bad pack But odds. the problem wasn't that it was that he purchased eggs in the beginning and in the conversation in which he purchased eggs, it was with the understanding that it hey, will we'll yield a really high return on this on this purchase before we actually release it. That was the that was a what you call it, which is why mm. I'm happy he said the first step was not get any result on that at all, not get any money back on that, no kickback, because this is what he really wants to do. That was the that was the initial problem. How, which is, that, how is that different than a pack opening in any other game? That's like that, or, that's that's like the, that's the equivalent of of Ronnie 2K having a bunch of cards before they even come out, and as soon as they hit the marketplace, then putting it on the uh, auction block, knowing that nobody doesn't he have didn't that. Sell. I know that, but I'm it's saying that was the from the conversation that was being had, though, that seemed to be the intention that they were going to do. That they were going to be able to buy pr before it actually released, nah, and then I, when it got on. See, I disagree with you. I think that's the, what they say. They're not disagree with me. That's what they said. The indictment here is that Logan fronted like this was game first. There's developers. That yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know too much about this Logan shit. I'm happy this nigga apologized for whatever. Because apparently, the just of, about this, y'all can fill me in because I know y'all are. The just I got about this shit is basically he put some shit, he, he developed something, he put something out that wasn't fully developed, but he had the intentions of making himself a lot of people, a lot of investors' money, and that this game was gonna be very profitable and very enjoyable. What happened was, in the mix of that, it didn't work out. Nigga, two niggas or three, a couple people done ran off with the idea, or whatever the case may be. So he wasn't able to uh, to, to fully fucking um, capitalize and do what he set out to do. But now it looks like he sold his share of the company because he truly believed in this in this investment, and now he's trying to make the the game right. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that's pretty much just I got from it. Shout out to him. I don't really everything I hear about this man be bad. This this is actually a good thing. I'm 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 happy that niggas is taking accountability and they're. And that he's showing initiative that like, yo, listen, this is really what I wanted to do. You feel me? So I can't do nothing but respect that, man. Hopefully the game turns out good. Based on how he was describing it, though, I will not be playing that shit. Not that it fucking matters. But, you know, for everybody that did buy it, hopefully that shit is wild enjoyable. You know? Front, like they give a fuck about the game, but the entire That's also time, a part of it as well. every decision they made was to it's make money. money yeah. I hate developers like that. There's the yeah, odd developers right, like right? Naughty mm -hmm. Dog, or 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 the, it's, it's so uncommon but, for but a developer to put the game first. It is so uncommon for uh, a movie now. studio to put money. the movie first. All Yo, you know what games I really started a after? I want to say, because I'm, I'm coming from console. If I'm coming from console, I'm going to say after Modern Warfare, after Black Ops 2, I feel like everything started being a money game. I feel like everything, DLCs, the game not fully being out, DLCs and coming out to finish the game, all of the packs and all of that open opening, all of the cards and all of this shit, Fortnite, shit being free, but then you having to buy skins, you know what I'm saying? Ah, all these different games. I feel like Shit became a money grab. They did it was unfinished games. Certain shit, Apex is 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 is, is the one that did it, but did it, I feel like in the right way. The game wasn't fully out. It was free to play. Uh yeah, you could pay for shit and all of that, but like it, it was more it was a more almost fully developed game by that point. Like Pub is one of the Pub and and, and, and Fortnite for me were the two games that just seemed like a money grab. Because Pub was was horse shit when it first came out. Let's keep it a beat. Poor shit, bro. Not even gonna lie to you. It was bad games, bad vibes. Over time, they started to realize, like, the community was not, you know what I'm saying? And then they started fixing up. And just like they said, with Siege, I got to Siege when it was already fully developed, damn near, I feel like. So, maybe it was some more shit going on. But for the most part, Siege was pretty much a finished game. Fortnite, another one that was not fin was an unfinished game. But 
it had blew up so much that they kind of like went along with the times. But all these other games, bro, you buy half-ass games and they're buying DLCs every other week or packs every other week. Like, it's just, it's just it's annoying. It's money grabs, bro. It's money grabs. Almost always people are right, acting person, in the best and, intentions. And, and, and I don't care about that because I'm not dumb. Like, I, I know he's still running a business at the end of the day, so he wants to make money. No, I'm telling you. The, the problem is, I'm not, I know, I know, I know, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. The problem, though, is that the way in which he made money was putting him at such a crazy advantage that it would come across easily as a scam, especially when you're dealing with a quote-unquote game that has a marketplace that fluctuates rapidly if somebody just pulls out a bunch at, at one time. Like the other two quote unquote business partners did. That that was that's the reason You're why right I came that. across. Yeah. So in terms of so do you that think it was part, a scam? I think the other two scam. I drink like the I, other we, two we definitely scam. Without a doubt, they scam. But like we said in the other video, I don't think that Logan Paul would have positioned his entire credibility off of like four or five million dollars. He just he just actively just put a million dollars into it, just like that. Just like that, he just put a million dollars in, and then he just sat there and said anything that comes back from the the um, legal suit that we will um, receive, we're gonna put it back in there as well. Yeah. I do not believe he jeopardized everything for that. The problem is we, we saw you saw it on Twitter where somebody was like um. Like Created Logan's game, man. Under 48 hours, That's man. Right, yeah, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Got everything to hatch and all that other stuff, man. The problem is that, like, the thing in which Logan Paul, his game is supposed to do and what it's the functionality of it, it seems as if, like, from the beginning, because remember back in the day, this is the same game where they had stock images and they, like, the, the trunk nodes on there, some little Photoshop. Everything from the beginning to the end felt as if like it was shortcutted, it was very low effort, but he presented it as if like, this is extremely high. Now to a degree, probably in some instances it probably was, this is new technology you're dealing with. You may not understand the the, um, the ins and outs of it, but for you to kind of just leave it open-ended to the point where you, even you potentially got taken advantage of and scammed. And then your first response was, Coffee Zilla, you dickhead, bro. <laughs> I will probably agree with that, but again, when you when you in, enter in, investments and i'm pretty sure it's a new field like he said like this is new to all new to him he's trying to get ahead of the curve you want to be an innovator he can get it took advantage of bro but in this scene you kind of gotta that's the that's the risk you take i feel like when you're an investor and you want to you want to do something to get ahead of the curve that's kind of you know what i'm saying and you want to get into certain industries it's kind of you know what i'm saying the kind of risk you take man unfortunate Hopefully, I'm glad he apologized. Hopefully, this game turns out great, man, for the people that spent money and, and also his credibility. And hopefully, he wins that fucking lawsuit, man, because at the end of the day, people spend money, they want to gain, and he's willing to obviously deliver, it, it seems like. So, yeah, man, hope that shit work out, man. Let, let me know what y'all know about this shit, if, uh, if what he did was right, how y'all feel about Logan Paul, what y'all think about what Playback got to say, and, um, and yeah, did y'all buy the fucking game, bro? Did y'all get this game? Let me know. Let me know if you got this game. I don't know what this shit is about. It was a fucking panda with an elephant trunk. That shit looked wild. Nigga had eggs, rare eggs it looked like. I don't know, bro. Currency? <laughs> shit. Let me know, man, what's going on, though. Uh, this video coming out soon, bro. I'm dropping these shits. Share this shit, man. I'm out here working. Yesterday, I ain't gonna lie, I fell asleep. Off topic right now. Yesterday, I went to sleep early. But I'm back working, bro. Work with me, man. I'm trying to... Getting this shit out for y'all. What do y'all want to see? This is reaction videos. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to get heavy back on my game and shit, bro. These are just videos I'm pumping out heavy because I know I could. But I'm trying to get y'all the energy. I'm trying to get y'all vibes. You feel me? A little bit of me. A little bit of mixed with the intellectual verses. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Fuck with you. Fuck. Fuck with me, man.